good afternoon to all of you thank you for coming over for this on the invitation by our office and just i would like to brief only the nep 2020 so what so far this uh, university has implemented and what you want we want to take off with the other aspects of the nep 2020 in letter and spirit what uh, my colleagues has been mentioned so okay, just uh, uh, we have provided target hundred it some of them it is being covered on that under that particular brochure also but today we have assembled here only the third year of the launching of the nep 2020 so this uh, implementation part is not uh, not in overnight it will happen it is over a period of time because you know very well when first uh, national education policy has been introduced in 1968 it took almost 10 years to implement it subsequently even 1986 also after program of action in 1992 then that is uh, implemented now we have been uh, after three decades of uh, that's launching then it has been initiated and this is mainly keeping in view of the the united nations sustainable development goals the goal for uh, mainly mention about the uh, quality education so where how inclusive and equitable quality education can be offered with a lifelong learning opportunities so keeping in that mind this has been developed only and the learner centric uh, education system they wanted to offer here the mainly uh, the programs which university is to conceive based on the holistic education approach and secondly the curricula and courses must emphasize on the outcome based education system mainly with the knowledge skills and competency how the student is acquiring so next finally thirdly it is mainly goes with the uh, uh, pedagogy model which we need to adopt based on the learner interest and learner abilities just we have to work out so here normally we are thinking about a four pronged strategy that is teaching learning training and engagement so in this four pronged strategy just we wanted to see that uh, first teaching is the prescribed curricula if any student is interested to learn beyond the curricula it will called learning aspects so that thirdly if any student is interested in acquiring certain skills we wanted to give the special training in that aspect and fourthly we wanted to see the student uh, will have the opportunity to pursue any research they can go ahead so just uh, i would like to mainly i would like to mention because we are handling the students of digital divide generation and also who want to explore so based on that this uh, the the curriculum design and uh, opportunity of curriculum delivery is to be modified in accordance so universities are need to gear up for that particular situation so we know the when it is learner centric but learner can be uh, looked into three kinds of people normally entering into the university system one is first generation learner will be there and the second one is second generation the third is third generation so these people will have a different abilities and interest for the learning aspects accordingly university need to design the curriculum and courses so that we are focusing on the another aspect to just we have to see in this also the learners has a different abilities so based on the abilities we can call it as a gifted learner and average learner and passive learner so gifted learner is normally a self motivated guy so we have to provide certainly certain uh, support and facilities for him so to study beyond the curriculum which is required the passive learner normal average learner normally requires a motivation so for that we the teachers are designing specifically how they they can motivate and make him to be a, a good uh, outcome based learner to get into either in the employment or into higher education system the passive learner mainly needs an attention where the remedial classes will be arranged for the students and they make them to bring into the mainstream so this way just uh, the learner focusing curriculum and uh, delivery both we are focusing on further the we want to give the knowledge of the past that is what they were and knowledge which has said what at present and knowledge which uh, uh, ought to be mainly we how they can predict the future 
so these things just we would like to focus on so based on that the student can choose their careers how it should be there and we already mentioned certain aspects uh, these things uh, just i would like to in this particular brief note we mentioned so uh, this particularly the, these copies have been provided to you so first uh, the holistic multidisciplinary approach is adopted through various domains of general professional technical and vocational education probably you might be knowing the terminology but what is the main objective of this particular general education you know very well general education is mainly meant for life and values training the people especially ba bcom bsc comes under general education and professional education normally we consider as a legal education management education teacher education and media studies uh, like that it will be part of that and technical education is mainly that uh, professional education is especially for training the people for certain expertise standard and ethics is important and technical education is you know b btech are the programs which is mainly meant for the students to innovation and invention purposes and th fourthly the vocational education mainly training the students for a, a specific work so these four types of education being offered at central university of kashmir so this how we are going to integrate in the multidisciplinary approach based on the requirements now the nep has given the ccf up of uh, which ugc has recently launched in the month of november so that we are adopting and uh, aligning the existing batch to the this new model and thereby they will have an opportunity to go this because this is mainly consist of six uh, types of classification is there being given for the courses one is major courses the second one is the minor courses third is multidisciplinary and fourth is ability enhancement and fifth is the skill enhancement and sixth is the value added courses so these four courses mainly multidisciplinary skill education ability enhancement and value added courses student have an option to choose from the open education resources especially this fyam and moocs so that whereas major and minor will be offered in the institution itself so that flexibility has been given by the ugc up to 40% we can move at the moment we are having only 20% is there we are our next uh, statutory body academic council and board of studies will enable the student to, to go up to 40% so these are the thing just we are planning to do and four year integrated uh, teacher education program also we are approved by the ncte and which we are launching from next academic year onwards and the registration in academic bank of credits and national academic depository is already completed and some students are already being started enrolling and so there are six diploma courses are offered under design and innovation center is there so yeah so this are the things just at the moment existing is there now what we intends to do also just we made so as per the nep there is a affordability and access access and accountability is one of the important aspects are there so these three affordability we wanted to see the student can uh, choose the uh, credit based fee structure so whatever the credit he takes from the university for that only the, on the credit based fee structure he can pay because some of the courses he may be opting for the open education resources he need not require to opt for it the second is we want to intend to initiate the variable tuition fee structure for the students because there are need based students are there merit and need based are there and only merit based so that also just we wanted to work out for the uh, affordability uh, norms and further the enabling the learners to be partners of knowledge creation so that we wanted to see the all the learners are to part of knowledge creation because we have the good media school is there so we wanted to develop most of the uh, cu curriculum content into a e content mode and subsequently we wanted to deliver through various uh, educational uh, youtube channels